with Mark, it is looking like now he has sort of figured something out. He's looking quite good, really leading in the sprint, you know, and then crash to hand the win over to um to Jorge Martin. And then here, I mean, from the point that Martin crashed uh, from the lead of this one on Sunday, Mark straight away was just like, the hunt is on. The hunt is on. And he knew he was going to go from 30, he was going to go past Bears, and he was chasing Pekka. It was quite impressive. The only thing I want to mention here is, I mean, I don't have statistics on this or anything. It's just a feeling, and I'm just thinking out loud here. Where does everyone sit on Mark's racecraft? Because I know, obviously, for the last 10 years, he's been the quickest guy on two wheels. And he obviously can scrap, and he likes to scrap, and he's really aggressive. But when it comes to, like, thinking out a race, where does everyone think his racecraft is at when you compare, you know, the racecraft of some of the old champions? I mean, the obvious comparison is always Rossi, where Rossi would almost, like, you'd see him planning this out, and you could almost read what he was, you know, going to do, but you couldn't stop him from doing it because he would just play his hand in a perfect way. He'd pick the right corner. He'd sit there for five, six laps behind a guy. He'd pick the corner he wants to do it on. He'd, he'd do it so late that they couldn't get him back. Mark is very much, as soon as he gets the opportunity, Opportunity. As soon as he's within striking distance, he goes for it. Now, certainly that is entertaining. But if you're thinking about it from a, are you going to win the race doing that perspective? And like I said, a race craft perspective, are you thinking the race out? How are you going to do it? It just feels like it's all just see it, do it, see it, do it, see it, do it. There's no like, well, I've caught him. I'm quicker than him. I need to line up this move into this corner, which is a hard move to put because it was, he was quick through, I think it was seven and eight. So when he was going into, well, when you're going into that stadium section, that's where he made the moves. Is it thinking maybe, could you have just tried to tuck yourself in behind him so tight that then you could make the move into the final corner? Like, I don't know. Can you think it out more? Instead of just as soon as you're within striking distance, within a bike's length, he was just like, I'm firing it up. I'm going up the inside. I'm firing it through the inside. I'm running wide. I don't care. Could you have thought about that a bit more? Maybe sat there for two laps, see where he's strong, see where you're strong. You know, I mean, I kind of guess he probably already knew that, but then it doesn't make sense that he would be so rash to make the move. And the reason I, th I bring it up is, and again, I don't have statistics on this because I don't know what his, his record is in sort of those one-on-one -on -one duels that you end up with towards the end of the race. The most memorable ones for me that have had Mark in him are ones where he's kind of lost. I mean, I don't know how many, I mean, you think of Rins in Silverstone, a very famous one. All the jewels he had with um, Dovi, especially at, you know um, in Austria. I don't remember him coming out on top in many of those. I'd known him about his early career if he was maybe a bit stronger in him, but you know I'm talking like 13, 14, 15. Certainly once we got to the point where the main challenger was Dovi to now, I feel like he's not won many of those. There was the one with, I think he's lost one to Pecco before. There was one with maybe, was that the one in Aragon or was that Bastianini? Anyway, there's a few of these where I just remember back and I just remember him kind of losing them all. Is the only flaw in Marquez's arsenal, and no one's perfect, everybody had their thing, right? And I guess Rossi's flaw was that he was never just outright as quick as the likes of maybe Mark or or Casey, for example, but he could race craft his way to manufacturing a win, you know. Whereas Mark's a bit the opposite. He's got all the pace, but when it when you do have to think your way through a race to try and get yourself that win, like in this situation, he maybe is a bit rash. And again, I, it happened earlier in the race. Did it happen earlier in the race? Uh, maybe I'm thinking of the sprint, where as soon as he... No, there was earlier in the race, I think. as soon There was one where, you know, he just went flying up the inside just straight away and got undercut again, I think it was. God, I only watched it that bloody yesterday I'm trying to think back i should have written it down but there was another one where like as soon as he got within striking distance he just went for it and conceded the position straight away if he just maybe line that up for another couple of corners maybe he can make a more solid pass that is more sustainable in the long run he did end up getting past the guy anyway but the point is you're wasting time just wanted to think out loud on that one and see what your perspective is and i mean again i don't know if there is a statistic for this maybe he does have a positive record in in duels but i can seem to remember a lot of the the ones where he's lost are the most memorable ones but yeah let me know what you think about that mm -hmm.